Hey everybody, good afternoon. So it's afternoon where I'm at. About three three thirty. Um and as you can see, the mail just came. <laughs> My favorite time of day, you guys. So we have the white packages are from AliExpress. And our little purple bubble mailer we got is um we got Mary Mint. Uh, merry making and more so I merry mud I think it's really called um, I ordered some putty I've been going crazy ordering some putty I just ordered some more putty from different small businesses on Etsy today this morning um, I think I ordered this like two days ago this came so quick I'm very shocked um, hold on I have my coffee um, I know I can't tilt it, but this is my stitch cup. I know we're not doing Disney anymore, but it's Disney every day in this house. So I got my zero points coffee. When I say zero points, or I'm talking about points, um, if you didn't know, I am on Weight Watchers. I am trying to lose a significant amount of weight, um, the right way. So, um, if something is zero points and it's you know doesn't I get 24 points in a day so it doesn't take away from my points that I get to eat so coffee is usually high in points because of all the creamer you use the sweeteners the sugar and the flavors if you if you go to Dunkin like I used to um, uh, a medium iced coffee with pumps and pumps and pumps of caramel and sugar and creamer I don't even want to know. I've never looked up how many points, but it's it's insane probably how many points it is. So I've learned to make a zero points coffee at home. I start making my coffee at home. Um, so I, I'd rather not gain calories with liquids. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Unless it's soup, of course. Um, but yeah, coffee shouldn't be costing me anything. <laughs> But we're going to start with the small package because I really, really want to go in this first. I already tore into these to see which diamond paintings they were. Uh, I'll put them on the ground. And let me bring up Etsy on my laptop so I can tell you prices. And let me also bring up AliExpress so I can tell you prices on the canvases. So these canvases that I, I'm going to show you today, um, I didn't place the order that long ago. Um, so, again, I don't know why some come quicker than others. And I don't know why my one particular package is lost in space somewhere. And, of course, it has... 11 canvases in it it drives me nuts to think about um let me just shuffle through everything i got use the first order okay and let me try to find my order on etsy sorry guys i i'm like fishing through a lot i bought a lot of shit today i, I went crazy i even found these really um i found colored uh, flat plastic multi-placer somebody actually makes them so I ordered some of those so we'll we'll see I ordered a new tray I ordered a bunch of stuff <laughs> I usually don't do a lot of shopping on Etsy you guys because you know sometimes the um oh here it is sometimes the shipping price is just it's, it's insane it's some some of the shipping out there costs more than what the product is so i don't get it so i got some bubble gum yay for candy so we're gonna save that for a rainy day you also got a sticker with some flowers love the stickers as always and Okay, so here's, I guess, like her business card, Merry Making and More. Uh, here's the QR code. I don't know if you guys can scan a QR code through YouTube like that, but um, here's her Etsy shop, her Instagram, and her YouTube. So I'll hold it there for a second if you're curious, if you don't already know about this company. Um, it's a little small business, so really nice. I'll probably keep this in my... Um, 
diamond painting um, organizers. And she wrote a little note. Thank you. I hope you love your order, Mary. So, thank you, Mary. I'm super excited. And I believe, the, yes, I ordered Zodiac sign sample size um, scented putties. Now, um, look how she packages in tissue paper with a little sticker. So cute. So, I ordered the sample sizes because they were fairly cheap. They were $2 a piece. Shipping was $4.81, so not bad, you know, and I didn't get sh charged shipping on every single one. It was one shipping fee for all of the items, which that I like. I wish things were like that more often. So they come in these hollow, hologram, holographic bags. So let's start with, this is Sagittarius. I don't know what they're supposed to smell like. Um, it never said, I think it was like a random type of deal. Let me use my tweezers to get this stuff out. I don't, I have chubby fingers. So the sample size isn't that big, but I mean, you don't need that much play. There is glitter in it. Really cute. And it's like a purple marble. Mmm. It almost smells like lilac. So the Sagittarius smells like lilac. I don't know if she changed the scents. Like if everybody ordered Sagittarius, would everybody get a different scent on their Sagittarius? I'm not sure about that. I can't tell you a definitive answer. Um, it just said sample size, Mary Mud scented diamond painting, punny, and Sagittarius. But this smells great. Um, I'm not going to stick my fingers in it too much, but it's just enough. It's just enough to get me to try a little bit of everything. All, um, it looks like she usually sells bigger sizes and different things, but I'm pretty sure she was, I think she was out of everything. Um, and she had to make more. So the sample sizes were the only things available. So I got a little bit of everything. So the next one is Taurus. And it comes in like a sea foam color with glitter in it. I hope you can see the glitter. Oh, and this one is, um, this is very fruity smelling. This smells great. Oh, wow. I don't know why we all like scented putties. Because it's, it's not like you're going to be smelling your pen while you're timing painting. But it's so nice. Every time I use a scented putty, which right now I am trying to get through my Randa's Crafty Corner, I have peach and fir blossom and plum. The fir blossom and plum smells amazing. I've had this for a while now. I mean, look how decrepit this looks from me digging into it. But I could still, it still smells like the day I got it. So the scent lasts quite some time. So let's do Gemini next. I'm saving my Zodiac sign. They actually had my Zodiac sign, which was Pisces. So I actually got a Pisces. I should have gotten two Pisces, but I just got one. I didn't know how it was going to smell. So here, let's look at Gemini. So Gemini is like a yellow and white marble. And this one almost smells... This smells like toothpaste. Kind of. Like, like a minty... Like, you know what it smells like, you guys? I don't know if any of you are old school toothpaste, if you know. I think it was called Aqua Fresh. And it had the stripes in it, and it tasted so... It was a, the best tasting toothpaste I've ever tasted. I don't know if they make it anymore. I don't know what this is supposed to smell like, but that's the vibes I get from it. And I'm not even, I'm not even mad about it, you guys. It smells so fresh. And a little bit, it has a minty feel to it at least that's what I'm getting from it so next we're doing Pisces which is my zodiac sign I am a February baby and of course it's Pisces colors I don't know the zodiac colors I just know Pisces are like cool colors blue greens I think some purples and this has glitter in it oh this smells like a really nice lightly scented women's perfume what perfume I can't tell. Maybe a Chanel. I don't know. Oh, this smells so good. But then again, it has maybe like a daisy smell to it. I don't, it's hard to explain, you know, without knowing the names of these scents. 
Oh, it just smells so good. Maybe a fresh new car, too. Like a women's fresh new car. <laughs> I'm so bad at I this is why I don't have a perfume channel. I show perfumes every so often, but I am I'm not like those women who have the perfect full blown perfume um content channels that they can ex describe notes to you and scents. I I'm not good at that. I'm not gifted in that. So here we go. We have Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, and Sagittarius. They all smell wonderful. All different marble colors. All have glitter in it. And they're a perfect like little itty bitty square. They're perfect sample size. I think it's just enough for a sample. So I'm actually going to try some of these today working on my August um, painting for empowerment. I am still working on that. So let's clean everything up move everything out of the way let's get to these paintings you guys i have not enrolled them so here's the first painting we get a is this a five this might be a five placer it looks a little bit bigger than a four but it's a nice thin one i like that um some plates of wax we even get a purple squishy and some tweezers in this kit let me exit out of etsy and go okay Okay, so I think I know which one this is. Okay. Let me just put my garbage on the floor. Let me take a sip of my coffee. I'm just eyeballing it from across the room. So thank God, no tape on this canvas. They chose rubber bands. Only bad thing about rubber bands is if they do them too tight, you get a little bit of a dent. I don't know if you can see the dent. There's a little bit of a dent in there, which means there'll be a little bit of creasing. But... You know, I'm pretty sure they will come out sitting under the pile <laughs> of canvases. Comes with a foam roller in the middle. Let's roll her backwards. I'm like, I always spoil the surprise because I'm sitting here trying to flatten it out in front of you guys. So this is a 30 by 40. And if you can't tell, oh, let me turn off my flash because I keep noticing that. Okay, so much better. If you can't tell who this is, if you are not a, I think she's Marvel, DC, maybe, comics. Uh, if you are not big into superhero heroes and villains and you will not know who this is, but I will let you know who this is. This is a version of Harley Quinn. They, I found a collection of different types of diamond paintings of her. Hopefully this is not too dark and you guys can see it because I had to turn off the flash. The glare was just horrible. Um, let me turn on the flash of this. Here we go. Here's the picture, you guys. And it's her holding a uh, shake or, <laughs> oh, excuse me, hiccups, soda can. But I love this picture of her. I am a big Harley Quinn fan. I love her. And she just goes with my ladies. I don't have any clown ladies <laughs> um, in my stash. So there is, believe it or not, for this 30 by 40, there's 33 colors. Um, they use numbers 1 through 8 and then A through Z. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 symbols. She's really cute. Uh, drill field is pretty clear. Does have guide circles. You know, what are we going to do? I'm just accepting my fate that everything I'm going to order off AliExpress has guide circles. But I'm getting used to it. I'm doing pretty good. But I'm a sloppy placer. I don't really focus on being nice and neat. So, you know, if you look up my canvases up close, you may see, like like how they're these are more of a circle with a white background you may see some of that white background on my canvas because i don't go around with that flat piece and go through every diamond and no that's doing too much you guys <laughs> but um we have a nicely placed and um inventory sheet and individual baggies looks like we have the number the um, color number and the weight on the bags and you know I can separate these because it has the picture right on here so I'll know what I'm looking for 
she's super cute um this is a lot smaller than the 30 by 40s or the 40 by 30s i've been getting and the lady canvases so quite frankly the whole canvas including the border is probably 30 by 40 and the picture in the inside is a lot smaller so it's going to be definitely small i mean these are really thick borders so when i trim this up i'm going to probably have to use a thicker washi tape to keep some size to it um but the harley quinn was seven dollars and 39 cents i think i only paid tax on it and i got i may have gotten free shipping so because i think the total was seven dollars and 88 cents on her and when did i place this order i placed this order july 21st and we are now august 3rd so that didn't take very long at all Okay, the next one I'm extremely excited to see. I mean, it might be an ugly looking canvas because these people don't make pretty looking canvases without the drills. So um, we have our typical toolkit, but theirs is just a little extra. It has a boat with a spout. You get your clear glitter pen and some baggies. We have tape on the canvas but thank god it is a felted um soft canvas so and they used masking tape so it came off really good no pulling anything oh she doesn't look too bad foam roller in the inside i like that they do that because it keeps it from wrinkling so much this is a 40 by 30 let me just try to straighten her out a little bit, you guys. I may be causing more wrinkles than good. 40 by 30. Ooh, see what I'm doing? See how much damage I do? I'm so careless. I know, and you guys are dying and cringing as I'm doing this. Sorry. <laughs> but I, I have double-sided adhesive. Um to repair if i ever screw up a canvas again 28 colors i don't know how to let me turn off the flash maybe you can see her a little bit better and then we'll turn the flash on i don't know how to explain maybe she's a queen maybe she's a princess i don't know um do we have here we go um this is the picture of her she's got like her hair in an updo with a bunch of pearls can you see sorry i'm trying to give you the best view possible and she's got like an off the shoulder going on with a collar with pearls um she's just all pearls and i love it and she's got the light platinum blonde hair sorry for the glare you guys i if i don't use the flash you won't see it's a cloudy day outside um but i mean the canvas i mean you can see what's going on if you are up close in person um but i mean it does have guide circles um it does look clear otherwise um nothing looks blurry 28 colors we have one two we have two um ab's in this kit so Let's open it up and see what color ABs we got. I mean, this is a basic, like, black and gray and white. Maybe some light blues in here. Yeah, look at these these colors. Almost the same colors that was in my um, Corpse Bride painting. If you ever saw me do that one, that's on my channel. So we have a baby blue AB. I know you can't see the AB coating, but just believe me, it's there. <laughs> and I think there's two ABs, so let's see if we can find the other one. I was hoping it would be black, because I love when they do the entire background in AB. But it isn't. We got a huge bag in 939, so that's going to be probably going in the background. Looking, looking, looking. A lot of the colors seem similar. Are we missing one? 775R. Ooh, guys. I hope we're not missing one. I think it's a white. 
Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to keep rolling the film. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hidden. 550R. So the baby blue was the 775R. And this is 550R, which is like a plum eggplant purple with AB coating. I wonder where this is going. Because I don't see any purple on her. Now that I've messed up a really nice and neat bag. <laughs> Okay, and this special lady, let me let you know how much she was, if you are interested. Uh, she's $8.07. She was really, really gorgeous. All right, I love it. She's so, um, what would, how would you describe her? Regal? The way she's just, she has perfect posture. Of course, she's got what I love, the resting bitch face. <laughs> I just love that on my ladies. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really concerned that none of them are smiling. There's some people that are concerned, like, you don't like any paintings with women smiling. Eh, I think they look gorgeous. Okay, and this is the last two diamond paintings. So, boats with spouts, big plates of wax baggies pink pen tweezers this is what i don't like i don't care if it is masking tape and masking or washi tape doesn't stick that bad it will pull plastic apart like that just like that <laughs> Okay, these are two canvases rolled up together, so we are going to do one first. Hi, Bubba Boo. My little baby just woke up. My little guy with cancer. My senior. He's a little turtle. He just trots around and he gets his exercise in and he goes back and naps. <laughs> so, yes, if you can guess... Or you're trying to guess what this canvas is. Yes, it's another Rainbow Lady. I did buy a couple of them. I just bought them all at different times. So they're all shipping at different times. Ugh. I, it wasn't even wrinkled before. And now I'm causing wrinkles. Sticking to my arm. I'm not very good at flattening out a canvas. Okay. Flash off. Because this is like a negative image. So you can't really see what's going on. But you can tell kind of that there's different colors. 30 colors. Put the flashback on. And here's an up close. That's what we are looking at. Look how gorgeous she is with the rainbow hair. I miss my rainbow hair. I used to have rainbow hair just like this, you guys. Yes, I did. I've had my hair every single color in the book, including green. Yes, I have. And I've also done rainbow hair like this. I love this. Um, this has three ABs in it. I'm curious to see... Oh, I already see them. I'm not going to even open it up. We have a white. We have a, like a sky blue and a darker sapphire. And this is a really big bag of sapphire blue. So this, there's going to be a lot of AVs on this campus. I love it. Shinier the better, you guys. This is a 30 by 40. So this is more like a true 30 by 40. Um, it's not all borders. You know what I'm saying. Soft canvas. Feels like felt. Um, little to no flattening. She's already flat. She's not even curling anymore. A little time under the other canvases that are already flat. And she will be perfect and ready to go soon. So, let me let you know how much she was. Because, let me just pick a rando one. 40 by, oh. Why does it say, okay, on the canvas it says 40, uh, 30 by 40, 
But the option that they have to select on the collection is 80 round 40 by 30. So, I mean, she looks more of a, like a 40 by 30, not the other way around. I guess they just screwed up the print. Um, but she was $8.03 with $3.51 shipping. So, not too bad. I mean, it's a little bit higher up in price. I mean, I, I know when some everybody's version of a high price is different. I think anything over five or six bucks is a high price. That's how cheap I am, you guys. <laughs> so let's roll out our last canvas. Now this girl, she's. I, I'm gonna try to save her. Um, but we'll see. I might get very impatient. Um, we can't, she's got a lot of negative space going on here. They didn't really color the canvas. So I'm going to have to show you the picture, the thumbnail. So you can get the full gist of what I'm talking about. But here's the canvas anyway. It looks a little bit better on camera. She is an ice queen. I'm assuming she's an ice queen. Look at her with her crown. How stunning. She's got jewel, I think jewelry on, and she's got like icicles or quartz crystal as, as her crown. It's a really, really beautiful picture. I don't know if you can see it better on here. Sorry, not focusing. There we go. She's really pretty. Sorry, I don't have better pictures. Um. I could take you down from, from, uh, but let's watch, before I show you the pictures of everything up close, let's look at the ABs in this one. There are three in here. Of course, one of them is a gray, one's a white, and one's like a beige cream color. So, and we got a lot of the white, the 5200. So I hope they're going to be putting it in her hair and they could put it all over. They could use up the whole bag for all I care. 28 colors, 30 by 40. And so let me take you down. Sorry for the loud. Okay. So this is the rainbow girl. That's what we were looking at before. And let me show you the girl with the pearls. That's the girl with the pearls that we were looking at before. You couldn't really, it the, the thumbnail does not do it justice, but she's absolutely stunning. Very regal looking. I love it. Hopefully I'm using the right description. I think regal would best describe her. And let me see. Which one do I have? There's two. There are two ice princesses. There's this one. And this is the one that I purchased. This is what we were looking at. Look how gorgeous her crown is. With her little piece that dangles on her forehead. She's absolutely stunning. And let me show you the Harley Quinn. It looks better on the computer. Here she is with her soda. Look how cute she is. There are many, many more that they have. Um, I don't, they have some randos like this in there, but most of them are Harley Quinn. I, I don't know about this one. This one's just blonde, but where are they? Here we go. That's a Harley Quinn. This is a Harley Quinn. This one. This one's in my wish list. I will probably be purchasing her today. <laughs> I've been staring at her forever. But those are the Harley Quinn ones. Um, so we have our Ice Princess. I'm just going to hold the phone because it, it's a hassle to use my new piece. We have our Rainbow Girl. We have, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Our Harley Quinn 
I think that's the three I got. Yep, and the camps under here is my August work. So, we got our Mary Made Muds, our putties. I'm going to be trying them out today. I will let you know in a video soon, maybe tonight even, if I post a progress video, um, how I'm liking the putties because I am taking a break from um, micro glue dots. Um, they're just increasingly aggravating. They just, they really, I mean... They're great. If you want something super tacky, um, they're great. But to get rid of the tackiness, some of the tackiness, I mean, I've been using this from Crafty Chef Diamond, the sort of quick, sort quick, the fingertip moistener. It works up to a certain point, and then I gotta redo it, and then I gotta redo it, and then then I get then I get tired of it, and then I then I start to lint it up on my pants. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and, and glue dots, but they're just always so extremely tacky that they don't let go of my drills to the canvas. And it, then it pulls up the canvas and it's just, it's just a whole spiel of things that happen. Then the canvas lifts up and drops and then my diamonds go flying. It's just a mess. So I am trying out putty again, scented putties, regular putties. I'm going to be trying putties for a little while. Um... It's not bad so far using the scented putty. I've been using Randers Crafty Corner Putty, um, scented putty. It's not too bad so far, but I do, because I'm a hard, hard presser, I am reloading, like, with every color. When I switch to a new color, I reload again. So, it's it's every couple minutes that I'm reloading. It's So, it's the, I don't know if it's the lesser two evils at this point, <laughs> but it's been a little bit less of a headache, so... I'm even considering on trying wax again. So if you guys know of a good scented wax or um, uh, patty wax or, or a good small business company on Etsy that has really good wax to try, um, I would be definitely down to buy some and do a review and try it out on my channel. I'm, I'm willing to try everything at this point. I'm, I'm trying everything again. Um, to make my diamond painting experience a little bit less of a headache <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed seeing some new canvases today and seeing my small business purchase um there will be more small business purchases i i just bought a bunch of stuff today so whenever that comes in probably in the month of august um we'll have it soon um but until then um if you are new don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you will please do so. I would really appreciate it. If you are enjoying my content, I would love it if you would subscribe and join the family. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for returning and watching my videos. I really appreciate your support. You're ever so wonderful. Um, you guys are all so special to me, and you're such a wonderful community to be part of. Um, I am enjoying, I am glad I switched over to crafting and diamond painting as my content. Um, I just wasn't, the community wasn't um, there, if you know what I'm talking about, with the nails. Um, I have a little small community of nails. I don't know if they've stuck around to see the crafts. <laughs> They're probably all long gone by now, but... Um, it, it, the community is just not the same. Um, everybody is just so loving and supportive in the diamond painting community. And I, and I really love it. And that's what I need in my life right now. So, um, thank you to, to everybody who supported my, my little channel and, and continue to support me. You're very much appreciated and so loved. Thank you so much. But anyways, if you, wherever you live um have a nice day or night wherever you are and i will catch you in the next video bye guys